everyone, welcome back to episode 20 of One More Thing. Um, we are currently in this series called Spiritual Rhythms, where we've been spending the last few weeks talking about um, some different spiritual disciplines um, that have the power to transform our uh, lives um, and our spiritual lives. And so if you remember hearing that term, a spiritual discipline, uh, really we've been using this um, as kind of a definition it's a practice that's supposed to lead to spiritual growth and transformation. This past week, we talked about the discipline of meditation, and I'm not gonna get into all that. If you kind of missed what the message was about, I wanna encourage you to go back, listen to that from Pastor Andrew. It's really great, really insightful, and I think you'll like it. He kind of gives a definition that meditation is focused contemplation. Uh, we know that there's kind of the Eastern religious viewpoint of meditation. And so this is kind of a Christian uh, viewpoint of meditation being focused contemplation. And to practice this, uh, we need desire, we need consistency, we need time. Um, and if we don't care to be filled uh, with God's word, not only in our minds, but deep down into our hearts, into our soul, uh, we won't find that time and we won't be consistent uh, with it. I love how Pastor Andrew, he, he pointed out how this is more so a quality over quantity approach. Um, we can start with one verse or a passage or a story that we know from the Bible, and we can sit there and we can kind of chew on that day and night over and over. As Andrew said, um, he says it's like the wringing of a sponge. We just squeeze and squeeze and squeeze until it's time to pick out a new verse or a new passage. And we start to dip into that well, and then we start that process all over again until the word of God is etched uh, into our hearts and it's a part of who we are as a person. So for this week, I really just wanted to continue that conversation of practicing meditation. What does this look like um, practically? I've got this great book. It's really, it's a handbook. It's a spiritual disciplines handbook kind of gives you a little bit about um, what they are, gives you some reflection questions um, and some exercises and some different resources. Um, and so I kind of just want to walk through one of these exercises of what meditation might look like for you guys to practice this week. To prepare yourself to meditate on scripture, uh, suggest that you would sit in a comfortable, quiet place. Um, not to rush. We want you to stretch, uh, arrange your ch chair, your arms. Maybe you're in a chair that you can adjust the head. I don't know. Maybe you want to take off your shoes. Whatever you want to do to get comfortable. Sit in a position that you can maintain without any effort uh, or attention. The whole point is you want to be able to place yourself in the presence of God. Uh, release all of your anxieties and your to-do lists uh, before the Lord and ask him to open up your heart uh, to his word. And so maybe to get started, maybe you pick something out like Psalm 139 or something that I love, uh, Psalm 42, or another short passage. Like I said, it could be a verse, uh, just a single verse. Uh, take your time, read through that over and over and over again. And when maybe there's a word or a phrase in that that um, sparks your attention, your interest, and if that happens, Stop and be attentive to what that is. Let that word or phrase um, roam around in your head, in your mind, in your heart. Uh, ask yourself, pay attention to what you're hearing. Um, what feelings uh, do you notice in yourself? Do you have any questions that are popping up in your head? Any of these things, you can write these down uh, so you can attend to them later. And if you get to a point where your mind is starting to wander, uh, we just want you to gently bring that focus back. Again, meditation being focused, contemplation. We need to spend the time to be consistent with this and have this desire to be present with God's word and continue on the meditation. Um, don't feel like you have to finish anything. Like I said, if, you, if you're picking out a, a passage Maybe you don't get through all that passage because a word or a phrase stuck out to you in the first or second verse. I would encourage you to spend time with that and then come back tomorrow and the next day. Maybe you're doing this in the morning when you wake up or before you go to bed. Next day, 
go to that same passage and do that process all over again. Spend time reading it, asking yourself questions, listening to maybe what God is saying to you in that passage, uh, any word or phrase that pops up. Just keep chewing on that, keep contemplating and meditating on God's word so that the goal is so that we would look more like Jesus so that the word of God would be etched into our heart and into our soul so that we look more like uh, his son, Jesus. Now, I hope you've been enjoying uh, this series of spiritual rhythms as we've been looking into these different disciplines and practices. And I wanna encourage you to join us again uh, for this weekend.